Hello, welcome to Telecom TV. Uh, my name is Tony Chan. With me today is Al Liang, who is Senior Engineer at China Telecom, and he also is Head of the NFB Infrastructure Technology uh, Department within the operator. Uh, Ms. Dao, can you talk a little bit about China Telecom and its engagement with NFB and SDN um, in terms of deployment, in terms of development, in terms of research? Uh, I think the China Telecom strategy here is uh, uh, first start from the edge of the network. For example, the edge of uh, our IP network, the BRAS, the central office, I think. Also, the similar open source project is called. I think mm -hmm. the, we first beginning from the edge of our network. For example, the OLT, the BRAS, and the maybe futures 5G's MEC, yes. I think the capability of uh, forwarding uh, performance is match, quite match with the MFB's capability, yes. But uh, to the core part, because the throughput very high, I don't think is uh, in the near future could be solved the issues on the uh, forwarding, I think. So I think that is the, the strategy is from the beginning of at the edge of the network, and then gradually expand to the, uh, the metro and the service side, yes, that's our strategy. And I know that you have done a lot of uh, testing of uh, NFB and doing a lot of research. Uh, what Can you share some of that experience in terms of working with different vendors and, and then putting together a system? Um, uh -huh. uh, I think it's uh, I, just as I described and told you just the moment ago, I, I think it's a uh, time-consuming work. It's very pain for us to endurance endless of issue happen every day. We solve the issue and the problem uh, one by one, but we don't know what upcoming, well, coming up the next day. So it's very pain. So I think the best way to solve this problem is uh, we try uh, to uh, design a mechanism uh, we try to put every trial phase testing work yeah, before they put the product in our lab. They can do behind in their own lab. For example, Red Hat's uh, OSP system uh, will be pre-integrated and pre-validated in the lab of Huawei, not in our lab. I think we need more pre-integration work uh, before they put product in our lab. Okay. That's the best way, I think. So can you talk a little bit about China Telecom's progress in adopting this uh, transformation of, of the network to uh, NFV base? Uh, up to now, the progress mainly focus on that. I think that's the uh, small scale uh, field try and uh, uh, lab try. Uh, mostly, most of them are lab try. For example, in my team, in my, in my, in my lab, uh, Guangzhou Research Institute, we organize uh, uh, VMS testing from uh, Huawei, ZTE, and we also uh, combine with the uh, Red Hat, Wind Rivers, uh, Veeam, or the so-called uh, uh, cloud uh, mm -hmm. operation system and also uh, use the white box, uh, the course uh, server from Intel and uh, Inspire and, and, uh, and the Novos uh, server system. Yes, so in the, I think we just uh, uh, located at the startup phase, yeah, just the large scale uh, testing for the VMS, uh, just a startup uh, at the end of, uh, I think it's a May, mm -hmm. at the end of May, it's the last scale, the VMS testing uh, close to the commercial deployment, but not a formal commercial uh, deployment uh, testing, just a restart test, try to find the final uh, solution for uh, upcoming uh, commercial deployment for IMS. That's just one element. You know, we also have a virtual EPC, virtual BRAS, VCPE and uh, I think VCDN and a lot of yes, uh, 
elements cover from the uh, broadband and the wireless. So mm -hmm. I think we just at the the beginning phase. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So from from all from the work that you have done in the lab, uh, what kind of experience and and um, I guess results have you gained from the the trials themselves? I mean, are you seeing uh, visible benefits to uh, NFB deployment, and what are some of the challenges too? Uh huh. I think the, it's a key point uh, in this conversation. Uh, you know, everybody say, yeah, NFB is a long journey. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think there's uh, two meaning. Yeah, in it because the the first is uh, uh, positive. Uh, is uh, I think we all think is a uh, uh, future's roadmap for our network architecture transformation. But other, <laughs> in other side, it means uh, the testing and the integration work is a uh, tedious and a long way. It's a time-consuming work. Mm -hmm. It's a big burden for everyone, not only the, the carrier operator, but also the box vendor and the cloud service provider, and uh, also the uh, integrator at the last. So everybody complain about that. You may, because we decoupling everything, uh, VNF, the Amano, Vim, and the uh, NFV infrastructure hardware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the infrastructure also includes networking, the TOR, EOR system, the server, the the switching, and the storage. So once we disaggregate everything, but in the test phase, we have tried to yeah, aggregate everything, assemble, assemble t them together. Mm -hmm. So it's a one by one test. You, you try to coverage every case. It's a time consuming work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely the big burden for, for today's uh, carrier. Because a lot, lot of uh, the test happen in the, in the lab. Within this, this uh, environment, this journey that you're going through to adopt these new decoupled services and, and components, uh, how important is the open source community in, in uh, bringing this together? Mm -hmm. So you may find quite interesting question here. Uh, what we use uh, and test is a absolutely commercial products and the version. Uh, mm -hmm. But today we are talk about and what we also take part in the, the, the work, the party of open source here. Mm -hmm. Why? Yes, yeah, so, so quite interesting. So I think the best, I think the open source community give us very good reference design for integration mm -hmm. and the validation. Yeah, they tell us, they tell us how to organize the, wo the work, how to aggregate everything together, tell us what the, not the standard, but a, f a true standard, you know, a mm -hmm. real standard for, for the whole system put together. Mm -hmm. Yes, not standard, but it's a, yeah, it's a very, yeah, I think it's a be best practice yeah, for the industry. So f it's a helpful for us. Uh, the I think that the terminology may be the CICT, CICT continuously integration, continuously testing, and the automated uh, software deployment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes, I think this is uh, introduced by uh, the OPNV's uh, target. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I think it's absolutely right. So, so what's China Telecom's role uh, within the open source community and I guess specifically with the OP and NFB because we're at this event? Uh -huh. uh, we also in, uh, put some engineer to support the, some project for the, for example, the Ford uh, management, uh, the doctor, uh, I think doctor project is a Ford, Ford uh, mm -hmm. management and also, yeah, yeah, pay many lot of energy on the the uh, phone test and uh, the yardstick one uh, the previous for the uh, function test and the yardstick for the performance test so we pick many yeah energy to make it perfect and optimize every te test case 
yeah, mm -hmm. one by one. Yes, it's our daily work. Okay. Uh -huh. okay uh, I think the, the last question would be, um, you mentioned that China Telecom has a target to get 75% of the network equipment or infrastructure uh -huh. uh, on a virtualized basis. Uh -huh. uh, when do you think that is achievable, uh, that target? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, quite convincing to this kind because it not happen overnight. It's a long way. It's, uh, I think uh, in startup phase, it's everything put, uh, made it perfect is very difficult. But once we uh, in the degree in, uh, to, to deployment in the, in the middle degree, I think in the last phase will be uh, expand very quick because the, you know, the, the cloud computing technology is the capability of uh, very fast uh, duplicated the function mm -hmm. and the capability. Yes, the realistic and the flexibility is very high. I just quite convinced to the you know, future's blueprint. Okay, so achieve, yeah. like within three years, five years, something like that? No, no, no. That is a 10 years uh, project, okay. not, uh, yeah, not five years. It's a long journey, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Great. Uh, Mr. Al, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you, okay. Johnny.